Hi everybody, my name is Tristan, but a lot of you probably know me as Top Pops, and today we're here in the beautiful city of Niagara Falls, Ontario. We are here, of course, to visit none other than the Horseshoe Falls, and there are many different ways to experience Niagara Falls, too. First, we'll take you on a journey under the falls, and then we're going to be experiencing Niagara Falls from one of Canada's largest observation wheels. Oh, and of course, we're going to need to try popular Canadian food while we're here, and then after that, we're going to go visit fellow Canadian collector Ryan to check out his extensive collection. This is Pop Around the World, Niagara Falls, Canada! Niagara Falls, one of the great natural wonders of the world. Over 650,000 gallons of water cycle every second over the Horseshoe Falls. And over 8 million people come to visit the falls every single year, but I'm lucky enough to live close by. There are lots of ways to view the falls, and today we're going to be trying out a brand new one here at the Niagara Parks Power Station. Originally running by the Canadian Niagara Power Company, this hydroelectric plant used cutting-edge technology for its Era 11 cylindrical blue Westinghouse generators, creating the alternating currents originally patented by the inventor Nikola Tesla. The hydroelectric plant called the Niagara Parks Power Station operated between 1905 and 2006, providing power to homes and businesses in the surrounding region. Then in July of 2021, the plant's 65,000 square foot main hall reopened, complete with interactive exhibits, artifacts, vintage photographs, and educational materials. The tunnel itself opened up a year later. Once you enter the glass elevator, you will descend 180 feet beneath the historic Niagara Parks Power Station to discover the 2,200 foot long tunnel, which once served as the exit point for the water flowing out of the power plant. Using shovels, dynamites, pickaxes, thousands of workers spent four years digging up the subterranean tunnel, which measures 26 feet tall and nearly 20 feet wide. I'm gonna be honest, this tunnel is a lot longer than I expected. <laughs> At the end of the century-old walkway, you will find the 65-foot river-level viewing platform that offers a front-row seat to the roaring waters. Giant doors open during the day and allow those brave enough to go out on the platform to see the most breathtaking views of Niagara Falls. I have lived near the falls my entire life, but I have never experienced them this close up until today. Now we have made it to the Niagara Sky Wheel located on Clifton Hill, one of the largest attractions here on the Canadian side of the falls. Here you will find some really cool museums, shops, and attractions. And also this wheel here goes 175 feet in the air, which now that I think about it is practically 360 feet today. So what are we waiting for? Let's go on. Thank you. Sweet. Look at how high we are. Now that was a lot of fun, and I don't know about you guys, but all of this observing is making me hungry. So let's try out our cuisine for today, Beaver Tails. These are my favorite. Beaver tails are a one-of-a-kind, irresistible pastry named after the iconic Canadian symbol. They started in 1978 and are served piping hot. Each beaver tail is a hand-stretched whole wheat pastry that is both crispy and chewy at the same time. You can order a plethora of flavors and if you want to even get more Canadian, you can ask for one topped with poutine. And honestly, it's an experience you'll never forget. Now that we've had some fun at the falls as well as Clifton Hill, let's go meet up with our fellow Funko collector, Ryan, to check out his impressive collection that you won't want to miss. All right, everybody, we've made it over to fellow fanatic Ryan's house. How's it going? Great, Tristan, how are you? Good, good, and I just noticed the main thing, and probably what everybody else noticed, these Star Wars figures. How many of these ones do you actually have in your I collection? have around 550 figurines. Oh, wow. Okay, so this it's, is... uh, yeah, it's a huge collection. Crazy, definitely the most Star Wars figures I've ever seen. Oh, thank you. And I'm guessing with you being such a big Star Wars fan, your first one was probably something to do with Star Wars? Yes, I received it as a Christmas gift. Oh, okay. uh, It's actually right behind you if you want to grab it. Oh, this one here? Yeah, right there. Hey, hey. So Christmas 2015, I received uh, my Chrome Darth Vader uh, for my wife. It was in my stocking. And once I saw this figure, I knew that my set was ready to take off. And now with you having so many Star Wars figures, I gotta ask, why did you choose Star Wars? 
I was always a Star Wars fan growing up, right? So I had, I collected cards, I had sheets, I had sleeping bags, and I remember sleeping downstairs in my basement with my parents, just staying up to, late to try to watch the movies. Right. I was always a fan of the characters and the story, the plot line. Uh, Darth Vader was always one of my favorite characters, so I kind of gravitated towards him and just everything that kind of comes along with that story. It was just a phenomenal experience growing up, and then friends of mine were also fans, so playing figurines with them outside. Um, it was just one of those things that we kind of bonded over. Now, I'm guessing with the amount of figures you've got, you probably have some pretty rare ones or sought after? Yes. In uh, 2020, Star Wars Celebration was canceled because of COVID. What happened is Funko had the sweepstakes online where you can purchase, if you're selected, you were able to purchase the Obi-Wan Kenobi. I was selected, which was phenomenal because I never really get selected for a lot of things. Mm. Unfortunately, he couldn't be shipped to Canada. So I had to get him shipped to a friend's house in Florida, which he still resides in. We're just waiting to get him back into my possession. So he is safe. He is safe. We have him. He's all good. Oh, perfect. But in the meantime, I do have a Chrome Stormtrooper. Oh. From Celebrations 2019. And that'd be my next rarest figure, uh, limited of 2,500 pieces. Pretty crazy. Yes. Now, I heard you had a pretty cool story about the ones that you got just after getting your first one. Yes, so I was looking on a secondary market just to see some of the ones that I missed, mm. and I came across a local seller, and by local, she's about an hour and a half away, oh, okay. uh, and she was selling some of her early collection. I was lucky to meet a collector who was willing to part with some of her collection, and obviously to my gain, I was able to add to mine. For sure, and they look great up there in the corner, by the way. Oh, and it was all the original ones, which was super easy, well, super hard to find at the time, but now that they're up on the shelf, they just look so awesome. Yeah, love it. Now, with you having so many Star Wars ones, I know you also have a couple other collections. You want to maybe touch upon those? Yes, uh, we also started to collect uh, Sesame Street. So oh, when okay. my son was born, his favorite uh, character on Sesame Street was Elmo. So we were able to go through the different locations to find the regular version of Elmo and also mm. the flock version. Nice. But you can't just stop at Elmo, you have to go and get the rest of them, right? So not only just the regular version, but also the flock version. So the MLB mascots I also collect. The mascots are cool for everyone. Right. What happened was we were able to go to a baseball game in Pittsburgh and we saw the mascot walking down. We go to the pro shop and the figurine is right there. So we bought it right away. After that, that collection took off for him and I trying to find the rest of them in order to complete the collection. Mm -hmm. And I noticed you also, because this is pop around the world, Canada, have the Blue Jays mascot, the local team. We do, yes. We have Ace, the Blue Jays mascot. He is number 19 in the set. Uh, unfortunately, he's not number one in our hearts because we are Red Sox fans. Ah. Yeah. And now I know you do have a sizable collection, but I'm wondering, where do you want to go with this? Maybe try to get every single Star Wars figure or finish off the Sesame Street ones? Oh, right now, I think we're, we're running out of space right now. So <laughs> it's going to be limiting our purchases to just figurines that we do like, both myself, my son, and then we'll go from there. All right, well, Ryan, thank you so much for letting us in your home and checking out the collection. No problem, anytime. You're more than welcome. I'm sure. I've actually never seen this one in person, so it's really cool for me to see it, too. Awesome. Thank you all for joining us on today's adventure here in Canada. We'll see you next time on Pop Around the World.